Well, thanks for coming out tonight and just discussing uh, what we're excited about as we look at this new expansion for uh, Linwood Baptist Church. And uh, we just believe that God's going to do wonderful and great things. But we brought you here because we want to hear uh, what you're excited about, uh, what you think about it, and what you believe the Lord's going to do uh, in ministry as we move along with this. I'm excited about the stairs. <laughs> because yeah. we always are single file, and I'm trying to not have my children plow anyone down mm -hmm. going up or down the stairs. So to just have those big welcoming stairs for people to use, I think is really just when you first walk in, going to be really nice. So thinking of younger families with, with children or maybe those who are serving in children's ministry, when we look at the building expansion, you know, what, what excites you, but what do you think uh, will help in regards to ministry and, and serving uh, those families better? I think that's one thing that brought us here was the children's ministry and just, um, you know, it would add opportunity for growth and being able to have more room for young families to be able to come here and start and grow um, definitely would help. I think even for footprints in LCA, like if the weather was bad or if it was too cold outside, but they still need recess time. Mm -hmm. So then to go to the gym and still get that energy out and not just skip recess, you know, right. or right. try to do something in a small room and, right. you know, they need space to run and yeah. play. And, and hopefully it'll allow us to be able to host sporting events and just community events to get people in the building who wouldn't typically come, you yeah. know, check us out and maybe start coming on Sunday or Wednesday night. Absolutely. I think just one thing to always remember too is it's the people that make the building, not mm -hmm. the building that make the people. That's right. And so I think that when they see that we are working on this and they ask us, are you guys just trying to be, you know, some big church, you just want to impress people. Mm -hmm. We have the opportunity to show them what we are already a close-knit community. We are people who know each other and try to serve with each other. And we may not see each other every Sunday, and we may not be the best friends, but we do work together, and we go to the same church, and we serve the same God. And mm -hmm. so I feel like with people coming and seeing this outreach, even if they come and it's impressive visually, and it's impressive with the space that we have, uh, I think just one thing to be reminded of is the people that are there, because we're going to be ultimately what encourages them to come back. And so... Um, we are not just doing this. I think one of the big words that they used when they first announced it was talking about it being multi-purpose. That's right. This isn't just something that kids can just come and play in. Although it does serve in that capacity, it is so that we can reach other people. And so that people will be, when we do invite them, they'll be encouraged to come and they'll be encouraged to most importantly come back. Uh, because not only do we have the space for them physically, we have the space for them emotionally, mentally, and uh, most importantly, spiritually. And so... Amen. Amen. It's a, a, a sometimes meeting the felt need, right? Uh, people may be looking to, to come to say, hey, what what are you guys doing? You know, I'm interested in it. My kids want to have fun. And, and not that those things are bad. It's, it's fine. But it's really drawing them in and saying, hey, we have the words of life. Right? We, we have Jesus that we want to introduce you to. We have a, a body of believers here that wants to love you and to support you and care for you. Um, and ultimately, right, as we're looking at this, this building expansion, it's not just to say, hey, look how great Linwood is, right? Look how great we are that we can build this, this Tower of Babel. You know, that's not the goal, right? Instead, it's to say, no, we're using this as a ministry opportunity to introduce people to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And, and I think this building really helps us in that. But, Brady, as you said, it's, it's the people here who make that happen, right? You can build the greatest building. Uh, but that's ultimately not what's what's bringing people to Christ. It's those who are inside of it. So all of us came to Linwood for different reasons. Uh, the Lord brought us here at different times. Some of us may have been born into the church. Others of us may have may have come for for uh, maybe a, a different ministry or because we were invited. Um, tell me tell me something that that brought you to Linwood, and then something you're hoping that maybe new families, people in our community, can experience that maybe even this building helps with. For me, I came to Linwood as a college student. Um, I remember Super Bowl Sunday of 2017. I remember it because Ryan and Whitney Maynardman made me throw a football into a trash can, and it did not work very well. But So I, I came because I was seeking community of like people my age. You know, I, I grew up in a small town. I didn't have a good church community that was you know people my age. Um, so I came seeking community, and I've stayed ever since. You know, I worked, I serve in kids ministry. I help with the student ministry. Um, you know, I think it's just, I, I kind of grew with the church. I grew out of the college ministry, but now, um, 
am more involved in like the adult ministry, the young pros ministry. So I think Linwood sets families up for just growth with the church. Like you start off, you know, as a baby in the nursery, you know, with Miss Tammy and Miss Brandy, you know, those who are have been here for a long time and you gradually grow up. Ben and I moved here from Indiana and we did not know anybody. Um, but we were drawn to Linwood because they had all of the opportunities for our kids. And um, we found a life group with people our age, kind of in the same season of life. And we needed friends. Um, and so it was a great place for us to make those connections. Mm-hmm. We came from a small little church and we didn't even have a youth group. Like the three of us were the youth group. So I think that was a big draw for us, for me to get in the college ministry and for my brother and sister to get in the youth group. Um, and then just getting, I feel like my faith developed just getting into the college ministry because I didn't realize that I was missing out on, you know, going through youth ministry and going through all of that, you know, with just the church not having that where we moved from. And then I met Caleb in the college ministry. Um, and so then, you know, we started dating, got married, and now we're raising a family. We have a baby. And so we're in a life group that meets off campus currently. Um, but just with a lot of young families. And so it's just nice to have like groups that go through the same season of life. I've grown up in Linwood. I've been a part of Linwood my entire life. I've not been involved in really any other church. Um, and just to think about, like, I remember whenever um, the the current building was added onto to add the youth room, the church offices, more classroom space. And just to think about like, you know, another building expansion and looking back on, on the different uh, ministry events that I was a part of, but the, all the kids' ministry events. Uh, I'm just excited for our son, uh, Henry, to now uh, be able to be involved um, in, in the children's ministry and just to see how the new space could just even further uh, the capacity and the magnitude of the, the ministry events that we can have. You know, one of the newer ministries of, of Linwood is, of course, Linwood Christian Academy. And seeing uh, how God's been working there, using using that school in our community, uh, that is the reason that my family and I came here, as I serve as the head of school at Linwood Christian Academy. Um, but that ministry has been a huge blessing to my family and to my children. Uh, they came out of a, a tough uh, schooling situation uh, where we were prior and I remember my children got here, and they were like, is this heaven? You know, they just they couldn't believe how great it was, you know, uh, and it had nothing to do with me. You know, I hadn't even been here. <laughs> um, and, and, and just seeing how God has, has worked in all the ministries of Linwood, and now he ties those together. You know, recently we've had uh, some, some students from LCA who are also part of Linwood Church and the children's ministry, you know, come to know Christ, be baptized. And you're seeing how God uses all of our ministries to tie things together. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for coming out and just talking uh, with us a little bit about what you're excited about for the new building and what we believe the vision is for what God's called us to do here at Linwood. And and I do truly believe that the best days are ahead. And so appreciate you coming out, sharing what you believe God's laid on your heart. I'm looking forward to all that God's going to do.